Hey guys, uh, Carl here from Wide Universe Studios and in this video I will be showing you guys how to use a table cell value to uh, have an action happen instead of using a, um, a scene or a game attribute. Now this saves you tremendous uh, RAM so um, let's get going. So first of all we will go in tables and we'll create a table. We'll leave it to table 1. I won't even open it because I know there is already um, one row and one column in there and that is all we need next I will be creating two actors and um, we'll call this block and this one the button now what I'm gonna do here is I'm simply gonna have the button be pressed and have the block change location on the screen so to grab a table cell value um, and um, have it used under circumstances we gotta um, change that table cell value to a self attribute and so I'm gonna make a number attribute here so it's an integer and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a timer every zero seconds change attribute self position or self number to table cell value and I'm gonna go grab our, um, our row one column one in our table that we made like so now what's this gonna be doing is uh, pretty straightforward every zero seconds gonna be changing this attribute to the table cell value after that I'm gonna make a rule and um, we'll say when attribute self or er, self um, number is zero change attribute self position x to 150 and uh, we're gonna copy this down there now all this is in the timer as well we'll say when uh, self number is one bring this to 450 all right now that's all we need to do in this block actor next we're gonna go in this button and we're gonna make um, another self attribute in here which we'll call number as well and uh, we'll do the same thing we did in the last one We'll put this in the timer every zero seconds change attribute self number to table cell value we're gonna go grab our our cell table one row one column one next we're gonna create a rule and we're gonna say um, when touch is pressed an attribute self number is zero um change whoops we want to change a table cell value and we'll go grab our value again um which is row one column one and we'll change it to one so if it's zero and it's clicked it's going to go to one and we're going to copy this and we're going to say if it's one it's going to go to zero now I tried using earlier the uh, percent two manner, which makes it that when you click it goes to one, zero to one to zero to one to zero to one, but that didn't seem to work out. So I'm gonna use it. Um, I'm gonna do this this way. And uh, now the the number attribute in here is is needed only to see uh, on which number the table cell value is to know to switch it to the other. All right, now we're gonna preview this. Oh, first of all, we're gonna put these two on the scene like that. So we got our uh, our block here and our button there. And when pressed, it uh, changes from uh, zero to one, and the table table cell value connects to these two actors as self attributes and makes the action happen. Now it's pretty. Uh, buggy there because it uh, doesn't have time to think 
It's uh, constant, constantly changing, so we're going to go do every 0.3 seconds. And like that, you can see now. And when we click every 0.3 seconds, maybe every 0.1, it goes from uh, 150 to 450. Now this can be used for uh, multiple things. This is just uh, uh, the surface of uh, what you can do with this. And uh, I'll let you guys explore on your own and uh, make great things happen. <laughs> All right, so thanks for watching, and I hope this helped. Later.